Let's look at variations of Turing machine. Uh, so the idea is we want to see what is the exact power of a Turing machine. So we have a Turing machine which has a tape which is infinite uh, going on both sides. It has a control mechanism and it is able to simulate a computer. So exactly what kind of variations are available here for the Turing machine? So the first type of Turing machine that we want to talk about are the transducers. What's a transducer? It's a very simple Turing machine, but the only thing is it is able to perform calculation. How do we know this thing? It's going to do whatever it's doing and it will end up with an answer and that answer will be on the tape. So take an example. Let's suppose we have a string raised to power i hash string raised to power j. Now both these are on the tape. So whatever is there, officially we should when we multiply these two, it should return uh, the same string raised to power i j. So if it does that and the answer is there on the tape, then this machine will be considered a transducer. Now let's take another example. A Turing machine which treats the input as a unary number. So it is a unary number and then simply divides it by 2. So here is that Turing machine. Notice here that the alphabet is very simple. So let's look at how it works. So the way it starts is it from the state Q1, we have two options. Either we go here which is where if the head is currently seeing a delta which is an empty symbol or it can see a zero okay so in case of the delta it will write a delta and then it will stay and in this case it will go to the accept state however if that is not the case then what will happen is it can see the delta and write down another symbol which is the dollar sign and then move to the right. Now it also changes state to Q2. When it's in Q2 it keeps looking for zeros and then keeps writing zeros there and then it moves to the right. Now afterwards if it does not see a zero it and it reaches the end and then it writes it looks at delta writes delta it means nothing changes and then it moves to the left then it go to q3 and finally it moves back to accept state in the case it is seeing a dollar sign so what's happening is it changes the first symbol to another symbol which is dollar in this case and then it deletes the last symbol and then it keep repeating at the end we should see the old symbols to reverse the old symbol to the old the new symbols to the old so to see how this machine works you guys have to all um, code it in jflab and see this example i would suggest stopping the recording here um, stopping the this uh, video here and then you start using jflap and try this machine out like we do in the class